My name is Inger Schwarzkopf. I'm here from the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Toronto. Um, I'm here today to speak about the online student application um, that will be required in the application process for the students. So U of T Engineering has a very small uh, community of engineering students, so it's really nice because you get the benefit of uh, coming to a large university, but having that small setting of uh, a smaller community um, within a large institution. And also we've uh, many years have been ranking the, the number one institution for engineering um, across Canada and we rank uh, amongst top 20 across the world. So we're looking for students uh, that are going to be very well rounded for our program. So we're going to be uh, looking at students that are not only just academically strong but do bring a variety of stuff, anything from uh, extracurricular involvement but also um, the supplementary application that they're going to be completing, the two questions um, that are going to be video components and one written response. All those applications are going to be considered when weighing uh, and trying to find the perfect well-rounded individual. So my name is Ingrid Schwarzkopf. I'm here from the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering. I'm here to talk about the supplementary application. It's the online student profile. Um, first, let's get a hand and raise. How many of you applied on the OUAC website already for engineering? Okay, a few of you. And those that you haven't will probably go home tonight and do that, right? <laughs> no? Um, so first off, after you apply on the OUAC website, you're going to be waiting to get an acknowledgement letter from our admissions department. Our admissions department will be emailing you to activate your join ID. After this point, you're going to access your engineering applicant portal. Um, and after at this point, there will be a few uh, tasks that you have to complete on the online student profile. So I do have a few screenshots. This will be the online portal that you'll see before you log in. And of course, you will see that there'll be steps for you to complete and directions on how to log in. Um, these will be the steps that you have to complete. Um, there are six components. Once you complete a component, the way you know that it's been completed is that there will be a check mark beside it. Um, and of course, at the bottom, you'll see there's a contact. So in case that you run into any technical issues, you can press there and there's an email and also a telephone number contact that you can direct any inquiries to. Of course, I also bought my business cards today. So if, in case you can't get a hold of them, you can more than welcome talk to me as well and you can email me. Um, so the first one that you're going to have to complete is program choice. Fairly easy. On the OUAC website, you will have to declare one engineering program that you're interested in. Um, but once you get to the online student profile, we're going to ask you this again, and we're going to ask you to rank your top four engineering programs of choice. Um, the way it works is whatever you put on the online student profile is basically what we're going to go by. So if you put first choice on the OUAC website was mechanical engineering, but later you decide that you actually want electrical engineering as your first choice, then you could identify that here on the online student profile. And of course you would rank your next top three programs. The way it's going to work is we're going to pass your application off to the first program of choice that you put down. Um, if you're admissible for that program, then that's the only program we are going to get an admission offer for. If you aren't, then we pass along your application to the next program that you've identified on the application. So it is important to put down the program choices in the order in which you want to be considered. The next step will be your educational timeline. Easy enough, this just basically means where you've went to school starting from grade nine all the way through to grade 12. So it's your academic history. If you took a break from your study period, you do have to record that. So if you went on a learning experience for nine months and you took a break from grade nine to grade 10, you do need to record that on your educational timeline. Your next component will also consist of um, writing down your academic profile. So this will consist of self-recording um, your grades for grade 11 and 12. And that is specifically the prerequisite courses that we're requiring. Um, in addition to this component, you'll just follow the school that you attended and whatnot and just follow the bars. Also, there will be a component for um, uploading any standardized tests that you've taken, so any AP courses, the SAT um, tests, or anything like that, there'll be your chance for you to upload those as well. And then the next one is your extracurricular profile. So at this point, you'll be able to upload anything else outside of academics. 
So if you're involved in any clubs, sports, um, if you play an instrument, this is an opportunity for you to tell us what else you do outside the classroom. Any um, part-time job you may have, these are also things that we're going to be looking at. Next, we're also going to be looking at something called the personal profile. And I'm sure many of you have heard about this, that um, you will be having to complete three questions. Two of them will consist of a video, and then one of them will be a written response. When you get to this part of the um, portfolio, at the bottom left corner, I have it pointing. It says proceed to the online pro or the personal profile. And then it's going to take you to another website that's linked like this. Um, before you start, there is an option to do practices. So you'll see at the bottom corner where it says practice and practice again. So you do have the option to get familiar with the content and have some sample questions so that it's um, not um, completely foreign to you when you start. But keep in mind, once you start, you have to finish from beginning to end. And it will take you approximately a half an hour. Um, and some of the things that you will need is a laptop or a desktop with um, a webcam and a microphone. In addition to that, you will need a browser with Adobe Flash installed and um, stable internet connection, a pen and paper if you think you want to take some notes before you type your answers. Um, a quiet location is suggested just because you're going to be talking to a webcam. You don't want an area that's noisy and we might not be able to hear you. And again, as I said, it'll take you about 30 minutes um, from start to finish. Um, so again, the questions will look like the first one, it'll, um, it'll pop up on the screen, the question, and you'll have about two minutes to think about the answer that you want to give. After that, you'll record yourself for two minutes and give a response. After that, it will com be completed and it will automatically go to the next question. The second question will be a written response. Again, you'll have 10 minutes, so this is where your pen and paper might come in handy to write a response. And then you'll have about um, a few minutes, 10 minutes to write the response. Um, again, um, these questions, the written response is not going to be specifically looking for proper grammar and spelling, but rather um, how you think analytically, critically, um, you know, your thought process. It's going to test your communicational skills in the videos. Um, and then the last question is again going to be a video component. Um, for the last video, you'll have about three minutes to think about the question and you'll have three minutes to give a response. And then after that, you will get a screen like that and that will mean that you've completed the whole process of the online student profile. I do want to uh, explain that um, we are looking for well-rounded students. We're not just looking for grades. We're going to be looking at your grades. We're going to be looking at the extracurricular. Um, we're going to be looking at your student profile, your personal profile, the questions. So we are really looking for a very well-rounded individual um, that's going to fit well into our faculty. I've also um, put my email address down. Feel free to draw it down. If you do have any questions for the application process, uh, feel free to connect with me. Thank you.